everyone, it's Fantasia. Welcome back to another episode of Disaster Diaries. So last episode was chaotic. A lot happened that I wasn't even expecting to happen. So because of that, we are right where we left off. I could not skip any time. Also, the fact, like I didn't even touch on this, the fact that this is all happening on Harvest Fest is a whole freaking thing. Like Harvest Fest is fucking canceled at this point. <laughs> We will try to do Harvest Fest dinner though, but I feel like for the whole family, it really doesn't feel like Harvest Fest right now. I mean, can we blame them? Yeah, she she's gonna be just going through some stuff right now and that's completely normal. So we're gonna actually do our comment of the day. So this one goes to Elisana or Elisana. Honestly, I'm not sure. So I apologize if I'm saying wrong. But yeah, I think it would be cool if they connected too. I, I agree, like I don't think they would be besties or anything like that, but I could see see them kind of just connecting a little bit and um, you know just like Esme apologizing and stuff and I think at this point she would forgive her you know I don't really see her as the grudge type also love that she's just over here doing her homework but okay let's see so this custody thing let me see custody go to the court over custody decisions do we do that we can also remove the custody assignments Let's go to, oh, uh, oh, no. <laughs> We're not gonna have you like complaints. Let's um not do that. But anyways, let's go back here. Custody, go to court over custody decisions. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen, but in the end, I don't even care. We're making sure the dry gets back here. I will literally do everything I can, but I, I don't want to just force move him here. I really want it to work out. You know what I mean? So yeah, she's going to a court hearing about custody rights and I guess we're gonna see what happens. And then as for Araya, she's doing her homework. So as we know, she is literally a D student. So we, we got to work on that. You know, I, I think yeah, she she's done with the weed, maybe. <laughs> Like, I don't know why I keep being hesitant to get rid of it, but I really, you know what? Her mom is trying to get custody right now of Jiraiya. You know what? She's going to do it. She She's, we'll say she sold it to someone else, you know? Yeah, I think we're finally going to be done with that. I mean, will she pick it back up in the future? Maybe, but not while she's a teenager, you know? After she turns 18, I don't know if, if smoking is something she wants to do, then I don't see a problem with that. But right now, you know, it's just not, it hasn't been the greatest thing. It hasn't made things turn out the greatest. And yeah, so speaking of Ash, I do want to focus more on Ash. I just, I still, love them so much. I think they're the cutest and like the fact that they have little crushes on each other is so cute. So we're gonna go ahead. Um, I think I want to make sure she stays here just so nothing gets messed up with the custody thing going on like the court hearing. So we're gonna stay here and we're gonna just go ahead and invite over Ash because I feel like she's bored right now. You know, she doesn't really have anything to do. It's raining. She doesn't want to go out anywhere. So yeah, she'll just invite Ash over and I'm wondering if she would also so yeah, maybe she'll also invite Noah over. Noah is her best friend, so I think that would only make sense. And yeah, I feel like they would all kind of hang out together a lot. Also, she's very close to Ivy, which is crazy. So I mean, we could have like some friends over. We we definitely could do that. Wait, what are you doing? What? Oh, 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 hold on. I don't want to do that. Did we just waste a bunch of time? I just want her to get Jiraiya back. I don't, hold on. I'm literally just exiting that out because absolutely not, hold on. So is our only option then to just, like I really wanted to get cut, wait, wait, wait. Decide on custody of child, Cuxton. But I think it's still gonna do Jiraiya. I mean, <laughs> Araya, hold on. I wanted to do this prop. Like, is there not an option to just get him back? Because remove custody assignments from child. So I think that's the only thing we could really do. Okay, let's go. I mean, she'd get him back anyway after what just happened. Yeah, he's literally just with his friend now and like left him here. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Okay, do it again. I don't think it's working. And I'm worried that I, I'm just gonna have to go and do it on the map view. I mean, if I have to, I have to, but I really didn't want to do that. But like, yeah, I don't know if there's gonna be any other option. It just doesn't want to go. 
Like, why? I mean, that actually really fucking sucks because I feel like it's kind of ruining my little thing that I have planned. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that, you know, Jiraiya is not with his dad right now. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? It could be my fault. I'm going to try one more time, but I don't think it's going to work. Like, it kind of just cancels everything out. No. Okay, I'm just going to do this the easy way. We're literally going to invite him to hang, uh, hang out, and then I'm just going to add him back to the family. So that's what we're going to do. He does have all this stuff at this house over here. I think that's fine. Like, I'm not too worried about it. Oh, she just got a lot of money for her day off. Uh, I feel like I'll keep that room there. Like, I think he'll be visiting here. I mean, they literally have a sibling over here, a half sibling. And, you know, if Esme and Avely are going to be on good terms, then I do think it's fine that there's a room there. And like, even Araya can go and stay over there if she wants to spend some more time with her sister. So I think that'll be fine. But I do think now he definitely needs his own room here. But I'm just like, you know, they were going to move. But I also just, I love this place and I would love to stay here. But like, I do think they'll be moving within this series. So I'm just like, you know what? What do you guys think? Do you guys think that they should move? Ask to start birth control. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna go to friendly. We're gonna go to affection. Oh, you're my favorite. Let's do that. That's so cute. Oh, she's tense. Oh, nothing absorbed. Okay, that sucks. But yeah. Oh, now you're doing your homework. Perfect. All right. Isn't this your outerwear, um, dresser, change outfit? Oh, no, wait, never mind. Okay, <laughs> perfect. But yeah, anyway, so you guys let me know if you think they should move or should they wait a little bit? Like, what should I do here? Like I said, I do think they will move within this series, but also, like, they don't have to. But, like, I do think Avely would still want a fresh start, and I feel like it would be better if she moved. You know what I mean? Another thing, the landlord situation. I don't know if anything will go on there. It's him, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's invite him over. They have the her sentiment though, which like, oh, it makes me feel so bad. Oh my God, girl. Relax. She's peeved. Oh my God. What is going? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Um, everyone is really pissed off right now, and, um, we don't need this, like, what do you mean? Okay, I feel like, no, 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 let's just, um, let, let's remove the situation before it escalates, okay, go here, and we're just gonna hang out with the landlord, you're still doing your homework, everything is fine, so yeah, Jirai is back home, as he should be, I still can't believe Hoxton just, like, left him there, and just, yeah, he just dipped out and went to go stay at his friend's house, it, it's great. So, why are you mad, though? Like, calm down. No! Oh my god, everyone is pissed off. Hopefully, this won't go bad if he's in a bad mood. Like, this is not a good Harvest Fest. Wow. Today is the day to be thankful, and this is how everyone's acting. I mean, come on. Come on. By the way, you guys, I have no idea, like, where this series will be at when Love Shark comes out. So I don't know if, I don't know if that pack will get used in this series or if it'll be like just wrapping up at that point. I feel like it'll still be going on, but it'll be like closer to the end. So I don't know if we'll end up like using that pack at all, but it would be really cute because teens can use it too. So I'm like, ooh, um, let's go ahead and ask for advice because you're just like really sad right now. And let's do me see. Yeah, bestow empathy. Okay, so you're back in bed again. Honestly, she just can't with with today, apparently. Like, <laughs> literally, she be trying to hang out, and, uh, yeah, it's it's not going great. Uh, let's go to romance, and we're gonna do flirtation, and let's, I mean, we're gonna take it slow, because they kind of just got pissed off at each other. You need to relax, Miss Girl. Like, you need to chill. She's so angry. She's peeved. Like, calm down. Oh my goodness. He's like marching over here. Please have a calm conversation. Come on. Promise to help. Oh, that's cute. Let's do that. And then bestow empathy again. And uh, I just want him to be in a bad mood. A friendly. Oh my god. Okay, it looks like Ash is leaving. Like nothing. Yeah. 
<laughs> Offer a listening ear. Yes, relax. We are here for you. There's no need to be angry. Like, calm down. <laughs> Aw, they're having sibling time. Wait. Okay, you're going to the bathroom. Uh, let's actually talk about mental health really fast, though, because I do feel like that's important. Uh, <laughs> drag into believing the world is flat. Um, debate game strategy. And then, yeah, she'll go to the bathroom. And... She, yeah, she's gonna take an angry poop. She needs that. <laughs> Clearly, she needs a release, okay? Okay, so you have so much energy and it's literally 8 p.m., but I will force him to sleep at some point. But, you know, if he's gonna be up for a while, we're gonna have him go ahead and call April. So we're just gonna chat. I don't think we'll invite her over because it is getting a little late and there is school in the morning. So we won't do that, but oh my god, dude. What? Could that sim really be a criminal mastermind? What? No! Are you actually kidding? You're, you're, you're joking. Oh, not on my watch from loyal. Oh, okay. Well, wait, what are you eating? Oh, okay, the mushroom steak. So she's eating that. And honestly, it sucks that she's gonna feel this way for two freaking days. Like, hello. Oh, where the hell was Noah? I have no idea. Oh, over there. We literally didn't even talk to him. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, and then you're coming back, it looks like. So, I mean, if you want to talk, we can talk. Are you feeling better yet? Are you? Maybe? I hope so. Oh. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh my god. Relax. What, what did you just tell her? I think you just broke her heart. Oh my god. Genuinely, like, <laughs> I don't know what was just told, but don't do it again. Okay. What? Where'd you go? Excuse you. How, how, what, what did you just tell her and then just walk away? Okay. <laughs> I feel like she's like, okay, at this point everyone can literally fuck off. Like, actually. Okay, so she's cleaning up her plate and honestly, yeah, I think she's just gonna chill. For the rest of the night, honestly, I wish this game board was functional because I feel like she should just sit here and play a board game, not gonna lie. But I think instead she'll go ahead and watch a movie. And we're gonna do, I don't know, um, Roaring Vice, sure. And yeah, she's asleep. She cannot be bothered. <laughs> and then oh, literally everyone is falling apart. Yeah, we didn't even do um, the Harvest Fest dinner. We just, now. Like, look, all this stress is going to cause me to break out. No, it's fine. You're fine. It's okay. You'll be fine. I promise. Aw, look, he has the Tooth Fairy certificate. I mean, he's probably just gonna come and watch this movie with his mom, like, to be honest. Come watch the current movie, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just skip until the morning. Okay, so it is a Friday morning, and of course, Jiraiya had to sleep in his mom's bed tonight because he kinda doesn't even have a bed here anymore. So we're gonna be getting that situated. But right now, they're just kinda all focused on the fact that they're all together again. And I think, actually, like, I was gonna have them go to school, but then I'm like, wait. Let's have everyone just kind of take the day off and I think they're gonna celebrate the fact that Jiraiya is back You know, she got custody back. I think they're gonna head out somewhere where maybe there's nice weather too I'm Like look, oh my god. Yeah, they just need some happy vibes for real. Okay, so let's go ahead and not go to school today <laughs> So we're going to take a vacation day and then we're gonna have you do the exact same thing So take a vacation day you're literally so hungry. I'm so sorry to stop you from eating. <laughs> We're gonna let her eat in just a minute, but did you have work anyways? No. Okay, perfect. So we're going to have everyone grab some food. I would love if they would just like all eat breakfast together, like eat the same thing, but um, she's too hungry for that. So we're not going to be cooking breakfast. We're just going to go ahead and literally uh grab a quick meal of some cereal and he's gonna do the same thing. Everyone is so sad they're going through it, you guys. I cannot wait for them to just have their moment to shine. Like, you know, all of this blows over, you know, everything's fine. Uh, Huxton gets what he deserves. You know, all of that, like the, yeah. Yeah, oh my God. Okay, girl, get that anger out. Like, let it out, let it out. I, I don't think we're gonna have Avery like run over to Esme's right now. First of all, I think Esme would actually come to her, you know, and apologize and chat with her and all that. I think, yeah, I think that's how it would go. So, and it's like, I don't know, everything is very just crazy right now. So we're not even gonna worry about that. We're gonna just have them go out and spend some time together as a family. So 
You're sad, I know, I know. Oh my God, I would like to adult now. I feel like I'm old enough now that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? Dude, you're a freaking preteen. Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, I mean, right now, like you're a preteen, dude. You're like 12. We're gonna say you'll always be my baby. Like, okay, okay. Yeah, that's gonna be the answer for right now. Um, but I do think he will age up soon. I don't think he, yeah, like a preteen is a short stage. So I don't think I'll keep him a preteen for too much longer. But you, oh, I, I thought you already ate. <gasps> oh my God, haunting. <gasps> Oh my gosh, no, no, no. We're going to be leaving anyways, but there's a ghost haunting the property. Excuse, bye. Absolutely, no, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. All right, have some cereal. And then you already ate your cereal and you're good too. So we're just going to wait for him and then we're going to head out and hopefully everyone can start feeling a little bit better. Okay, so we're just going to head out and you know, he's trying to go in bed and cry, but we're not going to let that happen. We're going to go out and the weather is kind of like, eh. Eh, it could be worse, I guess, but we're gonna go to Oasis Springs. Honestly, we could go to the park and pool. Like, it would just be relaxing for everyone to go swimming. I don't really know where else they would go, you know? Like, this is a motel, it's a gym, like... Yeah, I feel like this would be the best place to go. And we can even bring April, Avali, Araya. See, this is where we could actually ask Esme to come. But I don't know. I feel like it's pushing it a little bit. Yeah, okay. We're going to invite Noah. Okay, we'll do that. All right. Oh, it's kind of cold. I wanted them to go swimming. No, like I know it's fall time, but sometimes it's still just hot in Oasis Springs. Is this a literal fail? Did we go somewhere else? Oh my gosh. I'm about to literally have change of plans. Okay. Hold on, switch it up real quick. Where the hell should we go then? I really thought maybe it would be hot. I mean, it will be in Sulani, I think. It should be, and if it's not, uh, um, that would just suck. Should we? I mean, okay. Avalie literally had the best day of her life going here. So like, maybe she's like, yeah, like, let's go back to this. Or no, she's like, let me take you to this beach that I went to. I was gonna say, let's go back. But then I was like, oh no, wait, they didn't even go with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's what she would do. She's like, I gotta show you this spot. Okay, let's go. It's still cold here. Oh. And I'm tempted to change it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like doing that, but I'm just like, can it just please be hot? You know? Yeah, we're, we're making it hot. I'm so sorry, but we are. <laughs> we're just gonna do that. It's Sulani, it could make sense, you know? Yeah, we're gonna go for a swim. Like, we wanna do that. So let's go ahead and swim here together. Yeah, we're all just gonna go swimming. That's what they need. They need this beach day. I mean, I don't care. I mean, look at her. She's so grumpy. Like, let's get in the water. Uh, water. <laughs> Feeling heard. Oh, okay, good. But yeah, I think this will be super healing for them. Just like it was super healing for Abelie when she came here on her own. Look at them just all swimming together. That's actually cute as heck. Um, where the heck did she even go to? I don't even know. <laughs> Because April did, oh, there she is. I was going to say, April did get in the water. And then Noah's just over here dancing as he would, of course. But yeah, they're just going to enjoy some time at this beach. And I feel like, I don't know, everything is starting to come together. And I'm so happy for them. So yeah, next up, you know, Esme and Avalie are going to talk. I think that's going to happen in the next episode. And you guys can let me know if you think they should move sooner than later. Like I said, like, I feel like they will move. Oh my God. Look who's here. Yep. It's Sony. But yeah, <laughs> I do think that they will be moving within this series. I just don't know. Like, would it be now? Would they wait a little bit? Not now, now, but like, I mean, it could even be next episode if you guys think. Let me know. So yeah, because it would feel really refreshing and like the fresh start officially begins. So I guess we'll see. But yeah, so let's go ahead and chat with April a little bit. Obsess over favorite celebrity. Yeah, let's do that. And oh, there's prom. We can literally ask to prom. Honestly, that would be really cute. We're going to ask her. I don't know if this is a bad idea, <laughs> but we're going to. All right, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. What are you doing? Oh, telling her of I mean, Did she say yes? Did it even happen? I don't even know. Like, what do you mean? Prom. Ask to prom. Let's do it. What do you mean? I want to see if she actually says yes. Ooh, mischief level three. Oh, yay. I'd be delighted to attend prom with you. Stop. Oh, 
Oh my god, with Sony. No, she's not going there. Sorry. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. Like, the no. No, why are you so flirty? No. No. I just feel like, like, I know they're close. They, but like, she was friends with him when her and Huxton were still together. And so, like, they're still friends. But, like, no. Because, like, he's Huxton's homie. And, like, literally living with him right now. And, like, I don't know. No. No. We're just... No. That's not... That's not gonna be a thing. I love how they're all talking here together. Like, it's kind of cute. Like, you know. The sister, brother, and then his little crush. Like, I love that. I love that so much. I don't really think... Ash would be here today since like she just saw Ash, you know. Um, she's getting a little hungry though, and I mean, no one's at. The oh no, wait, someone is at the bar. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, actually, should we have her cook, or should we just like grab some? Is anyone even tending this? Like, why? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we can just cook something. Yeah, we'll have her go ahead and grand pit barbecue feast. Yeah, sure. Let's do um. Should we do the same thing as last time? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. It will take a little bit. Ooh, riled up from socialization. Nah, girl, calm down. Okay, she's trying to dance actually, but oh, those are just minus signs. Girl, stop being so flirty. Look at them, like spinning. I love how they're just standing in the water talking like this is actually so cute. But you guys, I'm gonna be wrapping this up in just a minute. We're gonna be resuming our, oh, okay. We're gonna be resuming our little beach day in the next episode. And then yeah, you guys can let me know if you think they'll be moving like super soon, like even as soon as the next episode or the one after, or if you think it'll be a little bit longer than that. I mean, of course, Avely and Esme would have their little like apology thing and like little connecting moment or whatever <laughs> beforehand. But yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below. And with that said, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.